After knowing about the order, let's study the degree of the differential equation. This is also very important just like order in order to understand the basics of the differential equation. So before watching this video, advisable to watch the video on order because otherwise you not understand it. The degree of the differential equation is what? Power of the highest order derivative. Power of the highest order derivative appearing in the differential equation when written as a polynomial in differential coefficients. Do not get confused with the high fi wording of it. Simply know that there must be different different differential coefficients in one particular differential equation. Now, what is the order that you know? Regarding the degree of that particular differential equation, this definition has to be followed which says the power of the highest order derivative. So finding the degree is not a one single step process. You need to follow two steps. The first is find out the highest order derivative that means the order and the second step would be find out the power of that highest order derivative that will give you the degree. Let's see this example number one dy by dx plus 5y is equal to 0. Now what is it like? It has only one differential coefficient and that is dy by dx. Now this is the first step that highest order derivative you have found out. The second step is power of that derivative is what? The power, there is no whole square, there is no whole cube. So power is only one. So the degree of this differential equation is one. This is how you do it. I hope that makes sense and I hope you understand that. Next equation you see d cube y by dx cube plus dy by dx whole square plus 5y minus e raised to the power x is equal to 0. Now as you can see I have here two different participating terms in case of differential coefficients. The first has 3 in the order, the second has 1 in the order which is highest. 3 or 1, 3 is highest. So don't consider this but consider this. So highest order derivative found out. What is its power? No whole square, no whole cube, power is only 1. So the degree is 1. So here also degree is 1. Last but not the least case is this. Now you see the definition was not complete until the first line. It said when written as a polynomial in differential coefficients. That means I have to uh, remove all these signs of square root of cube root. Radicals and all should be free from. So I cannot directly find out what is the degree of this differential equation until and unless this is free from the square root and cube root. So in order to solve this, let me see what should be the next step. This is power 1 by 2. So it is dy by dx power 1 by 2 is equal to d cube y by dx cube power 1 by 3. This is the case. Now first let's remove the uh, things that are coming into way. So I know that dy by dx power 1 by 2 d cube y by dx power 1 by 3. Let's cube both sides. If I cube both sides it becomes dy by dx power 3 by 2 and that is d cube y by dx cube. So after you have cubed this has removed. Now 3 by 2 is there. Let me square both sides. So when you square both sides what happens? It becomes dy by dx whole cube. You are squaring both sides is equal to d cube y by dx cube whole square. Now decide what is the highest order derivative. So this is only dy by dx. But this is d cube y by dx cube. So you have to consider this term. Forget this term. So the highest order derivative power of it is what? Power is 2. So the degree is 2. So in order to compute certain things you need to first simplify. And this is a very good example of it. The other thing the degree, the order these are always positive. You never encountered anything negative and you will never encounter because the powers have to be positive. So that is all about the degree of a differential equation.